Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Test Chamber. I'm Suriel Vasquez, and we are joined here by our, our wonderful editor, Elise Favis. Hey! In the realm of VR, this is our first uh, VR test chamber. We did a stream recently with a similar setup, but now we're ready to dive in headfirst into Here They Lie, which is a horror game by indie developer Ten Gentlemen. And uh, we're going to have Elise play through it uh, and see if uh, we get freaked out. Yeah, I've already played the demo, and that was a terrifying experience. So I don't know what I've signed up for. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think we'll get. I don't think we'll get too crazy here in this uh, early second. This is the beginning of Act Two. Right. Uh, I played through the early parts. Um, I reviewed this game. I gave it an eight. I really liked it. Um, it's got a couple issues, but for the most part, I think this is probably the thing in VR that I've been most interested by. I, I really oh, dig the sense of place here. And uh, okay. almost right off the bat, there is a big old. Wow. Scare there. I, Where did it take me? Um, I think it pushed you to the other side of the street there. Okay. So, um, that was scary. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely yeah. It, it is a horror game, but a lot of it is very um, a lot of it is mood. Let's say. Right. So you were saying there aren't a whole lot of jump scares, right? In general. Yeah, and I guess I picked the worst place to, <laughs> to make my case on that front. Uh, but yeah, if if just looking around these places, Curious I think is super. Super cool. Like, uh, go ahead and look up. Oh wow! Just the 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 way the skylines look in this game is just amazing to me. Oh yeah, I love just like the feeling of depth when you look yeah, up. You know, they're just so like they they're so crowded and so evocative of like real places. And I and I kind of like how it's all kind of bleak colors. Yeah, which gives it a more kind of somber look. Right. So I yeah, it's cool. Games get a bad rap for being super like grim dark and not being colorful enough, but I sure. think this game, this game goes like so far in in that direction that I think it is that it is worthwhile to go to go this route. Just the you know kind of like the Sin City very. Uh, very black and white with a few flourishes of color, right? So, uh, yeah, there, there's um, there's not a whole lot of action. It's just it is kind of you know a quote unquote walking simulator, but uh, it's probably some of the uh, the best walking simulating I've experienced, especially right. you know in VR. So, oh, all right. <laughs> I feel like there's a very angry ghost around here yeah, that it's, it's I don't want to upset further. <laughs> so that moment, I think specifically, uh, I really like just because the, when I did it, it was um, I was looking up a little more. Uh -huh. But I definitely no, I think no matter where you're looking at that point, you're able to notice the uh, the red kind of sprout out out of the corner of your eye. Right. So I think that's a really cool use of like the viewing angle of uh, VR. I really like how you can kind of like peek around corners yeah, physically. I, I just love that about VR. Yeah, and they really. never they never sh like say like press this. It's never like as binary as like press square or whatever to, to peek around. Right. So it's just, it feels it's, very natural. Yeah, which uh, is pretty cool. Speaking of uh, controls, if you press circle, you can uh, turn on a flashlight. Oh, that's that's good to know. And anytime <laughs> you come across a glowing icon. Uh, you press X and it'll you'll interact with it. I don't think you can interact with that TV though. I feel like my arm is not doing the things it's supposed to. But yeah, uh, you, so you're guiding that flashlight with the controller, uh, which might feel a little more natural with the move controller. But I played through most right. of this game with the uh, DualShock Four, so it, and it's been it's been just fine. And the other thing you can do is yeah, you can press uh, you can press and hold start I think to recenter. Yeah, I've been doing that every once in a while yeah okay that's better yeah kind just of. <laughs> the it's kind of hard to convey here just because uh when you're looking at it through this screen it just looks a, like a little shaky and it right you know, just looks like a regular game but uh the way these environments look in vr is like super super cool so i think you're heading backwards here you're right you want to head let's you, go down you want to head towards the red of course I want to head there. Yeah, that looks really safe and uh, exactly. comforting, you, you know? Always, you always run towards the danger areas in video Don't games. Don't we? Yeah. It's so lifelike. <laughs> All right, so there are people on that are on fire. Come on, That's great. Super great. <sighs> <laughs> so what's the what's the general story here? Like, what's what's the premise? So at the beginning of the game, you end up in a uh, you start off in this train station, and uh, there's you know a very um, 
there's sort of a very dreamlike state where you're talking to someone who was a love interest and uh-huh. they're kind of thinking about getting back together with you, but they're not sure. And so you wander off into the train station and then things get dark very quickly. And at this point in the game, you're not really sure, you know, why you're here or what's going on. Um, but, you know, as I mentioned in my review, it's, it's, it doesn't necessarily go where you expect. And a lot of it feels like by the end of the game, I was just kind of, I still wasn't completely sure what was going on. So it does stay kind of ambiguous. Yeah, it, it stays ambiguous for most of the game. Um, but I, I think a lot of it is sort of like in the way that you can enjoy a David Lynch film, even if you don't understand, you know, all the symbolism and all the meaning. I think you, you can enjoy it as like an audio right. visual experience in a lot of, a lot of times like eraser head or uh, rabbits I, I recalled in my review like just having those the, the way those movies look and the sort of the the emotions they evoke are are really uh, strong and I think this does a good job of sort of you know going for that right uh, the other thing is I think I forgot to mention is that you can press R2 to run so if you if you can st- uh, if you can you know not get motion Ooh. sick from from running here Oh man, don't come near me, dude. You stay right there. I kind of like his hair, though. Yeah, they've got they. The yeah, they animations. An you have an interesting. Oh man, interesting I don't look really for sure. Go. Hey, why? Where did my flashlight go? I believe you ran out of uh, batteries. Here? Oh, awesome! Get, that can happen. I never really had a problem with with the uh, <laughs> with the batteries, but. Whoa, no, 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 no. We're not friends. I'm going, I'm leaving. Turn it off, turn it I'm off. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Turn off the flashlight. Oh, like... okay. Can they chase you? They, they can chase you. Oh, if, if Jesus, you stick, okay. If you stick around with them long enough, they'll Let's get out eventually of chase you. So What's this? You open that up. Are those batteries? batteries? Yeah. They last for a while. It's not like... Nice. Like I said, I never had a big... I never had an issue. Kind of makes me think of Outlast in a way. Where... Yeah. I think uh, they were kind of a bigger problem in Outlast. Yeah, I was worry. not fond of that because yeah. when you do run out of batteries in Outlast, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> yeah, and uh, not find your way around. When light. you're turning here, there's two control methods. Okay, let's just. Uh, keep there's going. two ways to turn yeah. around. There's this natural one, and there's another one that is more akin to um, VR games where you're teleporting around, where it'll disappear you and then reappear you. Um, but as even here, when as you're turning, you can see that the the field of view kind of collapses yeah, so that, like that you don't get super motion sick. So at least let's go around here. There's a lot of like little details everywhere that yeah, are just super cool. It's a uh, it's, it's it's a messy place. Yeah, people don't really. Uh, people are pigs. Yeah, when they live in a you know freakish nightmare world, people don't seem to really care right. about hygiene or you know cleaning up. I guess there themselves. are bigger things to worry about yeah. when there's ghouls chasing you. It's understandable, but yeah. you know, make your bed every once in a while. <laughs> Put in a little effort. Maybe that's why you're being attacked by monsters. Yeah, maybe they just think you're super smelly. Exactly. You're so angry about how unclean you are. <laughs> that's actually what this game's about. <laughs> So I apologize for the spoilers there. <laughs> Aw. Um, yep. Just run away. Don't come to me. That's right. You know, throw your arms out and intimidate intimidate the bear is, is how you get out wow, of Wow, what happened here? Someone was partying. Is that a person? Is that an animal? We don't know. Let's go up. Oh, some people are doing their laundry. Yeah. <laughs> some people care. Some people. Oh, man. I like the music as well. I like the ambience. Yeah, they're... they're... It's very well done. Should I be going up? You do a good job there. Can I jump? I don't... I think you're stuck behind that railing, yeah. For the most part, there aren't a lot of, like, very tricky... It's not really uh, much platforming. platforming. Areas. Yeah. Right. Just using up my batteries. Mm. Okay. All right. Yep, we're not going that way. Let's turn this corner. 
Oh man, it, what is that noise? It sounds like It's like a gurgling, someone, yeah. There's also this like constant pounding, almost oh, like footsteps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus I, Christ. Oh. Okay. Oh god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't oh, know what to do. No. Okay. All right, just kill me. I'm too scared. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so I, I guess you know I, I like the death animation here. You basically spawn in this, you know, <laughs> other nightmare world. Is there anything I can do to fight back, or are you pretty much screwed? No, you, you, run away? you really never fight back against them. So go ahead and move forward. Oh, move forward. Okay. <sighs> well, this is calming. Kind of. Not anymore. <laughs> never mind. Oh wow, that is super cool. I like that a lot. All right, should I be going left or right here? Go right. Uh, yeah, oh, here. Just... This looks promising. Follow the blood. Uh, no. Follow the blood. Uh, how do I open Doesn't... this door? No, if, if it's flashing, it won't. Uh... Okay. Uh, one thing to point out here is that uh, the our capture equipment right now is recording at 30, but. Uh, at least playing it in 90, at around 90 frames per second, which is uh, a little better for, you know, VR stuff, because I know that, you know, frame rate is kind of important when it comes to VR and motion sickness. Right. So right here you find these little notes, or this is one of the photos, so. Huh. And this will trigger some audio. I'm not sure if it's picking up uh, on our capture equipment, but I think it'll, it's pretty clear for you, right, at least? Uh, I hear very distant voices. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Maybe this first one is pretty distant, but later on they, they have um, they have more distinct dialogue, and I think that opened up that door. Yeah, so it definitely opened in. up this door. But yeah, th those, no, uh, those audio snippets I think are pretty cool because they have a very loose conversational feel. Like It feels like people were being interviewed for a documentary, but obviously, obviously it's all... It's all fictional, so the dialogue I think is supernatural, or not not like supernatural or anything. It's it, it, it you is mean very just natural. yeah, it is very right. natural. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. No, so I guess yeah, I'm going. Guess we're going out. Oof, I'm hearing things again. Okay, is there anything else over here? I don't think I so. I don't think right? so. Yeah, so I we think we gotta go back to where our wonderful friend is. I think at this point you follow those um, those creepy, you know, evil wires. Right. So, have you played any other VR games? Uh, I mean, horror VR games. Um, not many. Uh, most of my VR experiences have been on uh, stuff like Oculus. I played uh, through. Um, what was it? A drift, which is a kind of a similar game, but not in the same genre. Um, I, I've seen a lot of people play you know, some some of the horror stuff, and I think a lot of them rely on how narrow your field of vision is to kind of like scare you from outside of your, you know, uh, outside of your field of vision. But right, I, I like that this doesn't isn't so focused on that, and it's more about just walking around these really creepy environments. Yeah, it's very explorative, which is cool. So, what are the other environments like when you get? So there's, uh, I don't mean I don't want to spoil so, uh, too much, but uh, mm -hmm. there's these very crowded uh, shacks and like sort of you know rundown towns and. There's later on you get into some sewers um, and there you return to the train station at some point and then later on there's some uh, outdoor environments <laughs> with a little bit more color. Um, later on you run into this really like messed up town with a bunch of like really really seedy stuff in it. So so is it if in the whole game is it mostly pretty seedy like this? Yeah, it's mo a lot. Most so of it is kind of like super run down. Yeah, much. Sticks around. All right, all right, all right. Oh God, I can't see. Okay, okay. Let's just keep going. I think, yeah, I think usually you want to head down. Down into the depths of this exactly. seedy area. Here. 
Good, I think those what are some batteries. That? Oh, God! Okay. <laughs> she wants the batteries as much as you do. No, they're mine. Get out of here. <laughs> Cheap bastard. All right. I'm going to just head downward. My shoulder's doing weird things again. Stop it. So here's a here's a, a neat trick for the people to try at home if they if they play this. Go ahead and look at that clock. Look directly at uh, look up directly at it. Uh huh. At that light. Or uh, point your flashlight at it. Oh, uh, and then and hold it. Hold your field of view on the. Wait one second. Okay. Trying to. Wow. And that's it. That's all that does, I think, as far as I know. Oh, that's so neat. Yeah. Wow. And as long as you stay there, it'll you'll just be reverted back to that train station. It um, Yeah, it's like, it gives you an idea of what it sounded like in the past or something. Yeah. This weird kind like of oasis in this very <laughs> oppressive area. And as far as I know, I don't think that affects anything in the story. I don't think it right. actually does anything. It's just this nice little uh, kind of rest area where you can just linger on it. That's cool. Okay, well, let's go this way. Oh, there's more blood down here. Hmm. Which obviously means I want to go towards it. Yeah, you want to you wanna always follow the blood. Alright. Whoops. Okay, nope, 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 nope. Like, I don't even know if I should put my flashlight on right now. Uh, usually you'll you'll see them because they'll, they'll, their eyes are pretty bright. So. Right. I find that the... the flashlight kind of wonky like I have to turn it off and on sometimes to like yeah. reposition it Re yeah there's a lot the of repositioning tracking. going on yeah I keep wanting to press press options to reposition uh. <laughs> there's a lot of your stuff like that I'm not here don't look at me oh, come on man really <laughs> Is he coming up? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want him to. Maybe he's not. Oh, nope, he totally he's is. Definitely there. Oh, come on. Get out of here. I mean, no harm. I just want to pass. for it. I think it'll vent I think it eventually turns around. It's like a little bit of stealth here. Yeah, a little bit. Um it's not there's not a whole lot of stealth. There's I think this and then one other right. section, but yeah, for the most part it's When his eyes he's... glow like that, does that mean he's seen me? I think that's that I think if he, if you're flashing the the flashlight at him when he's doing that, I think you'll you'll know you're there. Right. I'm assuming the best option right now is just to wait it out. Yeah. You might, okay. Oh, heavy Jeez! Oh. Really? <laughs> I had nowhere else to go. Yeah. Uh, the All other right. thing that usually happens is uh, when when something like that kills you, I think he he you will probably disappear the next time you. You had there, so it won't be as uh, as bad this time around. Good to know. Yeah, I really like this respawn animation. It's, yeah, it's, it's a little it's a little long, but uh, I, I I enjoy that. But it's it, so abstract, yeah, and that, I love the way it recreates the. Yeah, I like that they try to in, yeah in, insert it into the fiction. Right.
So I think those I think those uh, wires are are leading you. Yep. Down we go again. So many things just move. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's uh, a little distracting. Definitely. Definitely a very atmospheric game. Yeah, it's one of those. It's. It's maybe uh, one of those games you should probably play by yourself. Whoa. Assuming that was supposed to happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that's uh, that's our look at uh, here they lie. I enjoyed it. I it was those things are super scary when they come at you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a cool game. Yeah, um, yeah, it's got a really neat aesthetic and cool yeah, there's kind of tone to it. Not a lot of crazy stuff here in this area, but uh, don't want to spoil too much. And, and later on, it gets, it definitely wraps up uh, later on. So, awesome! Thanks for joining me, Elise. Yeah, thanks.